Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live with more exclusive videos for you here. And guys, you need to join our community, our growing community at richtv.io, where you can learn about undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed opportunities like ASEP in Canada and SEPSF in America. Put on your radar, put on your watch list. We're talking about a huge growing industry and a major, major need with antibiotic failure. This could potentially save lives and it is a huge growing sector. Let's take a look at it right here, right now. Don't touch that dial. So this is right on their website, asepmedical.com in their about section. ASEP consolidates two development stage companies, Sepsit Bioscience and ABT Innovations with shared missions founders, and investors, our purpose is to mitigate the global crisis of antibiotic failure by improving patients' odds of survival and quality of life. Together, I, our diagnostic and therapeutic solutions represent tremendous clinical and commercial pat potential through rapid diagnosis and uniquely effective treatment. This is the focus of asepmedical.com. ASEP in Canada on the Canadian Securities Exchange and SEPSF in America on the OTCQB Exchange. All right, this is ASEP Medical Holdings Inc. fighting antibiotic failure on two fronts diagnostic and therapeutic. Diagnostic novel assay provides earlier, faster diagnosis and targeted treatment of sepsis. And you can learn more right here on the website at asepmedical.com. ASAP on the Canadian Securities Exchange, the CSE, and SEPSF on the OTCQB in America. You can also see therapeutic patented pharmaceutical peptide targets currently untreatable biofilm infections. And you can learn more right at the website at asepmedical.com. They've also had some big news here. You can see ASEP Medical on November 19, 2021, announces listing on the Canadian Securities Exchange, the CSE, closing of acquisition of majority interest in ABT and SEPSIT and grant of stock options. This is the big news that they made. And then on December 16, 2021, ASAP Medical Holdings, Inc. announces public listing on the CSE to drive the fight against antibiotic failure. Now, I want to show you the stock and the chart. You can see here the highs and lows of the chart, and it is clearly trading near a low zone. You can see it's been as high as a dollar, been as low as 25 cents, and currently sitting right at around 40 cents. So much closer to the low zone. So a decent entry point. And you can see here in America, similar, it's been as high as 33, been as low as 27, and currently sitting right at 32 and a half cents in America, essentially just getting started trading in America. So, you know, to get to know the company, it's important to be able to break down all the specifics and understand the fundamentals. And that's what we do here at Rich TV Live. I must remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. You can see here, ASAP brings both a novel diagnostic and therapeutic approach to the urgent multi-billion dollar problem of antibiotic failure. Our purpose is to mitigate the global crisis of antibiotic failure by improving patients' odds of survival and quality of life. You can see here the crisis is a widespread and deadly 49 million a year cases of sepsis, 11 million sepsis deaths per year 
staggering number, 100,000%, 100% incidence of sepsis in COVID deaths, 10 to 100 times more resistant to most antibiotics, zero drugs approved for biofilms, and 65% of all infections are biofilms. You can see here the multi-billion dollar opportunity, 41.9 billion global antibiotic market, CAGR compound annual growth rate of 3%. And you can see the 1 billion global sepsis DX CAGR compound annual growth rate of 8.5%. So a very large growth market. Rapid diagnostic test delivers results in one hour improving sepsis survival rates and allowing doctors to make better informed treatment decisions. And every hour accounts, you can see here with ASEP, patient experience illness and initial infection requiring hospital care, ER admission, clinical suspects, sepsis based on symptoms, blood collection, and ideal prognostication, sepsis ER early diagnostic tests, appropriate treatment path. And you can see here the discharge and then the conventional therapies, which leads to 20 to 30% of patients die of sepsis at the bottom of the chart. Every hour delaying diagnosis and appropriate treatment results in 7.6% increased probability of death. So this is a huge, huge concern and problem and a major focus for ASEP Medical. You can see diagnostic advantages, greater sensitivity and specificity than the SIRS, SIRS, Systematic Inflammatory Response Syndrome criteria used today. Earlier recognition of sepsis at a time when patients are admitted to the emergency room. Reliable diagnosis for determining the most appropriate treatments to improve survival and next generation molecular diagnostic focusing on patient specific immune response. Potent therapeutic technology, proprietary peptide technology directly addresses the ineffectiveness of current treatment options by suppressing biofilm growth and reducing inflammation. And you can see here, they are attacking the biofilm, MRSA biofilm on human skill, a human skin, our peptide destroys the biofilm. Bacteria biofilms are very resistant communities that grow on body surfaces. You can see the urgent unmet needs. And you can see here the most dangerous escape pathogens include untreatable variants. And you can see the peptide technology highlights anti-biofilm activity, anti -bio, antibiotic synergy, safe and effective in animal infection models, anti-inflammatory activity in vivo, immune modulating activity, and combined activities. You can see the initial clinical opportunity, chronic CRS, rhinosinusitis, CRS, CRS is a lifelong condition causing painful inflammation due to bacterial biofilm infection. 242,000 emergency room visits annually. Antibiotics do not work, do not target the biofilm, only treat symptoms, not the cause. $30,000 a year cost. First treatment approved for inadequately controlled CRS with poor adoption due to pricing limitations. And you can see grant funding, molecular diagnostics, and peptide therapeutics. All funding prior to current financing was non-dilutive and largely research grants. So you can see the millions in funding thus far. Very impressive. And their intellectual property, their diagnostics, one patent family plus one underway and three patents awarded and therapeutics, three patent families, several awarded and 12 filed patents. 
and they are working on patents for the biomakers have been filed and already awarded in Europe, China, and Hong Kong in the national phase entry process for Canada, United States, Australia, Japan, and Europe. And you can see here, they're also working with therapeutics in two patents in US, Spain, Denmark, and Australia. So lots of exciting things happening here, including eight patents for small cationic antimicrobial peptides, eight patents in the US, Spain, Denmark, and Australia. And we can look here at the share structure, obviously very important for us to understand how many shares are issued outstanding for the company, 56 million, very tightly held, 4.5 million warrants and options at 50 cents and fully diluted only 60,680,344 shares. So very tightly held, which is something that is extremely important to us here. And in understanding the fundamentals, you can see here the timeline finalization of 510k submission. This is in the diagnostics, final clinical violation, sorry, validation, and file for approval, strategic partner, commercial, commercial launch, and therapeutics, finalize preclinical -clin, pre development, development of IND filing, clinical study design and pre-IND meeting, and IND approval. And investment highlights, you can also find all of this information on their website. When you scroll down, you can see a lot of this information and details are right here on the website as well, including investment highlights, large addressable global markets, novel technologies, extensive intellectual properties, near-term revenue models, publicly listed, and experienced management team. And... You can see here their management team from the chairman to the business development officer, chief operating officer, chief financial officer, and chief scientific officer. So a team with years and years and years of experience. The chairman and CEO, Rudy Mazaki, over 30 years senior executive management technology an intellectual property development experience, founder of over a dozen healthcare companies, development and commercialized multiple technologies, and deep experience with clinical validation and regulatory reviews. So lots of experience with the team, and you can see here the board of directors. So lots of experience as well with the board. You can see here the biofilm associated diseases and affected organs, the body system affected organs and diseases. And the validation studies, ASEP solutions to CRS. ASEP peptides address both biofilm infections and associated inflammation and have demonstrated excellent results in animal models. So you can see the strong antibacterial response and the strong anti-inflammatory response. So what are the designation benefits? Orphan drug designation awardees are granted the following benefits from the FDA, Food and Drug Administration. Lower hurdles to approval, longer exclusivity, lower market costs, faster uptake, premium pricing, favorable reimbursement. Tax credits of 50% of the clinical drug testing cost awarded upon approval. Eligibility for market exclusivity for seven years post-approval and waiver of new drug application NDA fee, 2.2 million value and acceleration of the development process and advantages post-marketing. And when you compare them with molecular diagnostics, and where they are as far as their revenues and market cap, you can see some of the companies that are currently in clinical indications and phases of development. 
and you can see their revenues and market cap. All right, love to know what you guys think of this video. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. This is Rich from Rich TV Live. We love to bring you winners, and we love to bring them to you first. This is a multi-billion dollar opportunity as sepsis and antibiotic-resistant infections continue to be a severe burden on the healthcare system. ASEP offers excellent investment potential with a combined market of $179 billion and robust growth. So you can see here, enormous growth potential, and you can learn more and feel free to contact the company right on their website at asepmedical.com. Feel free to contact them and they will respond to you with any questions you might have. This is Rich from Rich TV Live, bringing you asepmedical.com. And now I'm out.